What's up everyone? This is Adam Gillespie with Rancid and Sweaty Calves coming at you with yet another video. Today we'll be reviewing an article written on WDWNT.com. It was, I believe, maybe March 3rd that this was made, March 5th. It was put out on March 5th. Um, I am... <laughs> Just take a look at this headline, okay? Despite generally positive reviews, Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser sees more cancellations. Uh, that's right there. Now, in case you don't know, the Galactic Star Cruiser has been failing miserably since the moment it entered the stratosphere of Star Wars and the internet. I mean, take a look. I, I'm going to see if I can't pull up uh, on YouTube. A look at, just take a look at the actual Galactic Star Cruiser trailer. Let's see if I can't find that. Galactic Star Cruiser trailer. Because we saw some massive failing with this trailer. 3 minutes 38 seconds. This may and this may very well be it. This is obviously re-uploaded by someone who actually cared to, about the fandom, cared that people would see it. Here we have uh, this stupid thing here. Here we got this, 30 seconds. Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser launching 2022. That is 3.3 million views. I wonder how many likes to dislikes this, this has. For the first this time, has 2,000 dislikes to 2.9 thousand likes. Now, this is just a teaser trailer to what was actually going on. I wish I had the ability to... Let me see if I can actually see this. This only has 85,000 views. This is a re-upload. This person obviously doesn't have a huge channel. Uh, they're, they're much like myself, they only got 557 subscribers, I would go subscribe to them or like their video or dislike their video, uh, depending on how it is. But this is obviously a re-upload, it's not from the original Disney channel that, that uploaded it, the Star Wars channel that uploaded it. See, one of the problems with this, with the Star Wars thing was that it was so cringe. You had some really crappy singing opera weird twillick. Uh, and we had some, some really poorly acted out um, amazement by the paid actors. And as we see, there's huge backlash. We've got 203,000 views. Disney's Galactic Star Cruiser looks worse and worse. Uh, even Star Wars Theory took a look at it. Uh, we see some more stuff from this. And it just, it just spiraled out of control. And it's gotten worse even till today. Now, we come to this. This little article here. Despite generally positive reviews, Star Wars Galactic Star Cruise receives more cancellations. Great. I am actually all for people canceling this garbage this, this garbage experience. It's $6,000 for what I think is a two-night stay in a hotel that doesn't even look like Star Wars, doesn't sound like Star Wars, doesn't feel like Star Wars, and when they actually do anything in relation to Star Wars, it is so poorly done that you have someone like, an, uh, like a Rey stand-in lighting up a lightsaber, smacking it down onto the ground, and picking up another one so that she can go fight uh, Kylo Ren. That is literally the choreography to the opening of a fight between Rey and Kylo Ren. Now, and choreography with characters that no one cares about. Characters that are pointless and have no interesting development in them in their, in their entire series, in their entire trilogy. The first round of reviews of Public Voyages on the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser are coming in, including our honest in-depth review. I bet you it's really not that honest, and I bet you they're kind of shilling out for it. I wouldn't be surprised if they say some overly nice things about the story. Uh, I mean, they, might, they might condemn the high price, but they might say that, oh, it, it really is just an amazing experience, because that's all they do, is they pander to the people who are going to pay them, in this case, Disney. On the heels of generally positive feedback, it seems more cancellations are coming in. Now, if it's positive feedback, then there's no reason why it is that there should be this many cancellations. But they're not, they're not including the fact that a lot of these people who are giving these paid, uh, these giving these uh, positive reviews are actually paid to give these positive reviews. We see here, there's a, there's a chart here from March, April, and May. Uh, there's cancellations, there, there's opening seats, so many, you know, so many opportunities for people to book appointments and book times to actually go to this hotel and get a room. Last week, all voyages were sold out for March and April. Now there are four dates available in March and nine dates in April. Three more dates have opened in May for a total of seven available cruises. And again, 
this isn't even necessarily a cruise. They, they stick you in a hotel without windows, and then they put you in the back of a shipping truck, a box truck, and they just they just ship you off to the next destination that you have. You don't ever get to see the outside of this truck. It's designed to look like something from Star Wars on the inside, but they don't actually have enough credibility with themselves to make it look like a Star Wars ship on the outside. I may have just clicked on another link, so if you'll bear with me. And we see here, more cancellations, more opening dates, so on and so forth. It's just, and they've got September, October, November. Two more dates have opened in June. August is completely open. And we get more. Guests now have the availability to book through December, though at this time, only the November 28th voyage is, of, is unavailable. Availability reopening can mean just one guest canceled, as we can't see the number of rooms open. Guests who canceled voyages for March, April, and May would not receive a refund. So these people who canceled right before this, right before, right before they would have the, you know, when they would go on the cruise, have lost their money. They have spent six thousand dollars and they can't get it back. They have spent six grand on a hotel that they saw was completely cringeworthy and not worth their time, and now they can't get their money back. I feel so terrible for those people. However, they probably shouldn't have booked it before they saw what it was going to be like. And, and, and now they ask the question, will you be booking a voyage of Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser? Let us know in the comments. Obviously not. I will not be shelling out six grand for all this stupid Disney, Disney-fied Star Wars that they got going on. Katie is a lover of all theme parks and an avid reader. Her favorites are blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to go into that. But this is just, I'm just telling you, this shill, this shill... This, this series of shill reviews coming in, talking about how amazing and incredible the Galactic Star Cruiser is, is really upsetting to people like myself who actually do care about the Star Wars franchise, and they hate to see the politicization of it. And not only that, the crappy story written, the story that has been written in the sequel trilogy, the crappy story that has been developed as time has gone on, and the the poor acting, the poor choreography, the, the completely disregarding the lore and the, and the actual magic system of Star Wars, just not caring for the, the property that it is and the property that it used to be. Star Wars has died in the, in the view of the main public, or at least in the view of the fans, I should say. In the, in the mainstream public, it might still be profitable for normies, but fans have left the chat. Fans are avoiding this because it's so pointless and retarded. It is such a ridiculous and worthless opportunity to go to this overpriced hotel where you just get, you know, you just get led around in box trucks and people who dress up in poorly made toilet costumes sing on stage for about two minutes, and that's that's your main attraction. This 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 this. Galactic Star Cruiser is quite possibly one of the biggest wastes of money I have ever seen and probably one of the worst scams coming out of mainstream Hollywood and mainstream Disney. I am sickened to think that this is what one of my childhood favorite properties, Star Wars, has become. I grew up watching this stuff and to see it turn into this, to see it turn into some stupid theme park about a thing that we don't actually care about with characters that don't matter and characters that are completely pointless and characters that are that just are absolutely poorly written and have no depth to them instead of focusing on characters like Anakin, Obi-Wan, Padme, Yoda, Mace Windu, Kit Fisto, uh, Plo Koon, Kidati Mundi, uh, uh, Luke Skywalker, Han Solo, Princess Leia. Uh, even Admiral Akbar has more character than these shilling characters, these garbage characters that don't mean anything. We have Lando Calrissian, a character that was that was a kind of a traitorous person but had regretted it, so he turned against the dark side, turned against the, the Empire, and helped the Rebellion. You have all these interesting story arcs for these different characters, and, and yet we get this, a Twi'lek who fights for, for trans rights or whatever, who fights for... Uh, ethnicity rights or, or, or to stop the oppression of her people or something like that. And there's slavery in Star Wars, but slavery in Star Wars is not based off of race alone. It is based off of the oppression of individuals. So the, the fact that they're trying to make some sort of political SJW commentary about Star Wars in this hotel, where you're not even really going to learn about that unless you actually look up online what the character definition is, what the character description is, it's pointless. It's pointless to include that. There's no reason for that to be in here. And again, despite generally positive reviews, Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser sees more cancellations. 
the reason why you're seeing so many cancellations is because people are tending to pull back the curtain and see behind the scenes. What we are seeing at the forefront are these positive reviews by shills who have been paid by Disney to enjoy the stuff or to talk about how much they loved it. But when they actually dissect it and look at it and actually care to dissect everyone's comments, when they look at multiple and they see the same thing repeated over and over and over again, they are very clearly understanding that this is just a bunch of propaganda, it's just a bunch of marketing, and it's not working. It is failing, and I'm happy that Disney is losing money on this Galactic Star Cruiser, and I hope they continue to. Anyways, that's pretty much it for the video today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, let me know what you think, think down below in the comment section. Again, it's a small thing for you guys, but I, I talk at the end of every one of my videos how much I appreciate it. It means the world to me. We've gotten like 1,500 views on one of these videos, and I, I love to see that growth. I love to see our fellowship growing, and I can't wait to see where we go from here. You guys are awesome. Keep doing what you're doing. You mean the world to me. I, I, I really do appreciate you beyond belief. That's, that, that's pretty much it for today, guys. I hope that you have a great day and a great rest of the week.